Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arsalan and today we are on day number 9 of solving of object oriented programming question with the help of Python. So guys, the question says create a class called student with attribute name grade and subject. Implement a method add subject that allows you to add a new subject to the student's list of subjects. Implement another method, get subjects and get written the list of subjects, create an instance of the class with simple name and grade, use the add subject method to add a few subjects to the student list, finally you get the, use the sub, get subject methods to retrieve and print the list of subject. So guys, this is, another, this is yet another question I have prepared for you on day number 9 and it's same. Uh, the name of the class remains the same yet I have already told you that the name could be same but the method the logic uh, will be different as we have created on day number seven a student uh, class here uh, already uh, but in on day number nine we will be just applying some different logic which uh, the question is asking so question is uh, different but the class could be same so guys just before starting with this question please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel and just a quick revision of what we have done so far we have done we were started from day number one and we did some very basic question of object oriented programming system uh, with the help of python and then we move on to day two day three and eventually we came on to day number nine and on each day we are learning some new things some new logic and each day we are developing a better understanding of object oriented programming from day one to day nine if you see that we have built some very strong logic we have uh, actually developed a very good understanding of object oriented programming system and we have also increased the bar increased the level of questions if you initially see that we have created a very basic question of one line or two line but in last class if you see that on day number eight if we talk about we created a very strong logic of object oriented programming considering the list now let's start the question of on day number nine which asks us to create a class called student and yet uh, i will yet again i will ask you to create uh, do it on your own first and then try to follow my method because this question is repeatedly done on day number eight we have done on day number seven we have done like I'm talking about the list list question we have done several times so you may have got some idea of how to tackle such questions so on day number nine two we are doing the same type of question as list so it's ask us to create student so I encourage you guys to please do it on your own and comment in the comment section your quote that whatever your logic you may have applied so let's start doing it so first of all they ask us to create a class name is class student then we have to give the attributes def in it that's that includes a name grade and last is subjects now subjects is a list they have already said uh, told us so first of all let's uh, finish giving the names of the attributes then we can discuss it discuss the logic further logic uh, grade self dot subjects is equal to subjects now we have de uh, just defined the attributes now next step is to create a method so implement a method called add subject now they have defined the method they have named uh, they have gave the explicit name of the method to just uh, give this name earlier we were not getting the uh, earlier we were not asking uh, to give the name according to them but it was all open-ended now they are giving us explicitly the name that create the definite create a method with such name because they are saying implement a method called add subject so add subject is a method in which we have to take self here and that allows you to add a new subject so we have to take another parameter that will be just a new subject because 
in this add subject we have to take one more parameter that this uh, parameter is an item that would be added to the list of student subjects all right so what we will be saying that add subject so i have uh, as we have already discussed in on day number eight that to add any value inside the list we just have to append use the append function it's an inbuilt python function that uses to that is used to append items inside the list all right so we will be saying that uh, self dot subject uh, dot append new subject so we have done this right the method has been completed uh, it was quite simple quite easy and if you not, do not know what does this new subject means what means how does this parameter came into existence and why we are taking this uh, so this we are taking because we are just appending this value means we need to add a subject and a subject is a new subject we want to add some item so this item is a new item all right and if you want a, to a better clarity of this question please review my day number eight where we have where we have discussed it thoroughly and we have understood it in a very depth all right now we have done this already and we have append this in day number nine we have already uh, created this method now let's move further we are they are saying us to create another method to uh, that is get subjects right so get subject is another method we will be saying that def get subjects again they have this ask us to to create they have uh, again they have named the method which they are asking us with such uh, such name so that is get subjects now we will we have to return in this subject we have to return return cell dot subjects so that that's what that was all in the class we have to do now we have to deal with the instance of the uh, class create an instance of class with sample name and grade okay so let's do that what we have to do let's say we have uh, uh, ahmad is equals to student okay so we have a student as ahmad so first of all we have to give a name so let's say ahmad is again a name then we have a grade let's say grade is uh grade is let's say a grade a grade and now let's say subject is a list so list in list let's say uh i have english english then i have what i have maths mathematics then what i have i have urdu i may have science C-I-E-N-C -E -E, science and I may have Hindi as well and etc 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 I may have n number of subjects but I have five subjects till now and let's zoom in here so do you have better clarity of the code now uh, if uh, they are asking what they are asking they are asking us to create an instance where there it was written yeah create an instance of the class here let's see create an instance of the class uh, with a sample name and grade use add subject to add a few subject to the student list finally use the add subject to retrieve and print the list of the subject so if i want to print let's say i want to print the name with the uh, so what i will be doing is ahmad dot print ahmad dot what let me just print it uh, write it down the comment section what would be the answer ahmad dot name right so if i print ahmad dot name it will be ahmad now if i want to print great i will be saying that print ahmad dot great so it would be a now lastly they are asking us to print the get subject so we have to first of all uh, let's first of all what first of all print a dot get subject uh, ahmad dot get subject in fact ahmad dot get subjects 
and it's a method so we have to put the parenthesis here as well so if i run this code you will get it will give me five subjects of list list of five subjects now what we will be doing here is we will be applying this method to add subjects in this and before we uh, uh, do this let's uh, see what uh, sub what we what uh, we will be dealing with we have to just add subject here so to add subject there is already been parameter which, which we have defined in the in the method so we have to take the parameter here as well so add subject add ahmad dot add subject ahmad dot add subject see guys we cannot print this value uh, means we cannot print ahmad dot add subject why we cannot print because we are not returning any value so it will throw me in and then i will show it to you what does i mean here is so let's first of all append a value here ahmad dot add subject so what uh, subject you want to add let's say i want to add uh, uh, let's say I want to add French okay so if I print this if I print this it will throw me a none let me show it to you it will throw me a none see why it's showing none because let you see in this method we are not returning any value if we return any value then it will not show me a, a none value but we are returning it uh, because we are not returning it that's why it's showing an error so we will not print this value in fact we have created an another method where we have returned the self dot subject so we will be just returning self dot subject all right so if i print self dot subjects now uh, sorry uh, i will be print ahmad dot uh, get subjects and it's a method so we have to close it by parenthesis now i will be previously we will be just having five subject now i have one more subject that is french so i hope that you have understood this uh, question and you have understood the logic which we have applied here so guys this was all in the question if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time